So source image, and then we have that source image now. So let's use the source image to figure out how to calculate the other ones in the middle. So the first thing I need is to know the height of this image. So luckily there's an image S uh, Y like this image is Y. And then let's put our source image there, not the path, but the resource. So copy. You can only use this function on an image resource to find out its width and height. So here I will change this to width and then put an X there. So the X is for the width, the Y is for the height. So once we do this, we now know the actual width and height of this. Then we can do some calculations now. So first of all, we check which side is larger. Let's see here, larger. So if uh, let's imagine the width uh, is greater, which is usually the case, than the height, okay? And then if it isn't, we're going to do an else and do something else entirely. Okay, so back to our illustration here. If the width is bigger, what do we do? We get the height, okay? So let's get that height. So that height becomes uh, our sample. So let's see here, height. Uh, what actual values do we need here? We need to know the source X. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for here. Source X should be here. So what we need to do is subtract these two. So we know the height is shorter. So let's subtract it from the width and then we can get this extra side here. So a simple sub subtraction here. Let's get source X, copy there. Let's put it here. So source X is equal to uh, width because the width is bigger minus height that way we get a positive number okay and then the extra space uh, width minus height right wait a minute okay so the width here minus the height when we subtract we get this extra space here okay so that's actually the extra space. So let me duplicate this for a second. Let's just say extra space. So the extra space is equal to this. And then what we need to do now is just divide this extra space by two, like so. And then we get the source X. So source X is done. How about the Y? Well, the source Y in this case is just going to be equal to the height. So let's do that. Source Y is equal to height. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Actually, this is wrong. The source Y will be, because uh, Y starts from the top, it's going to be zero. So we have X in this direction and then zero in the Y. So my bad this source x is equal to zero okay cool so we have our x and we have our y now on the other side we just have to reverse this uh, same action instead we swap these two like so okay we subtract and then we divide by two and then this time, this one is the Y and this one is the X. Now, it's very possible that um, either of them will be equal. Maybe the height, maybe it's already a square image. The height and the width are the same. If we subtract the two, we get a zero. 
and then we're going to do zero um, let's see here this will be zero divided by two which is actually zero so we're not dividing by zero which is cool because then we'll have x0 y0 which actually makes sense okay so it works even when it's a square image very nice so we have all this here and now we want the source width and the source height okay so how do we get the source width and height back to our illustration in our case here where the image is wide here the width this distance is the same as the shorter distance so we just need to get the shorter distance and that's it so let me copy these two guys over here uh, is that source yes source width source height good let's put an equal sign there and another equal sign there and then let's put these bad boys okay so in our case where the width is greater the source width um, is going to be equal to the shorter side which is the height so copy that height and paste it here and then the source height actually it's the same because this is a square image so both are equal to the height and of course you can guess that on this other side both will be equal to the width so copy width good so that's about it with the calculations and i just need to turn these two into variables as well okay so once we do this uh, we should be done and now the oh we're missing one parameter here which is the destination image we already have the source image and we need the destination so to create a destination image we have to create a new image so um, let's do image create true color so image create true color where is this yeah there we go so image create true color requires a width and a height now since this is a square image we're trying to create we just get the max size because that's the destination size that we want so max size there max size there that's a square image right there and let me put this over here like so okay so what we are doing uh, just to recap is we get a source path and then we convert it to an image resource and once we do that we calculate where we need to cut the image and then we create an empty image and then we copy uh, from the source given those uh, xy positions and paste those xy positions onto the destination and then finally what we need to do is image jpeg like so so this is how you save the image now so i am going to save this to the destination path that would have been provided so i'm going to paste this right there like so okay cool and there we go now the thing is we are sending the image to a jpeg regardless the source um, now you can do the same if statement we did here and then you can do image png image gif and image jpeg depending on what you want to save so image jpeg is for jpeg obviously there's also image png they're pretty much the same so you can do that if statement but for me i just want to save everything as jpeg I like JPEG a lot more for internet. So you can also, uh, oh, wait a minute. We are saving this destination image actually. So the first thing it needs is the image resource. I actually don't know, don't remember. 
whether I should put the path first or the image resource. I think it's the resource that comes first and then the path. Then I can put uh, a value for the quality. The maximum is 100, which is usually a waste. So you can put it at 90 to reduce the file size or 95, uh, maybe 98. Regardless, uh, it's up to you or you can leave it out. So let's see if this will actually work. Let's test it in the next video. I'll see you then.